Yeah, they sprinting from the 1200 meter mark and Pinkerton is just off the first call as they move towards the 1100 meter marker. Into the future, the white sleeves and cap is quick. Ron's Joy 2 off the left and the white cap of Seascape quick on the left hand side. The extreme right hand side, we got Fool's Gold. They are followed further back in the field at this stage by Ma Bin. Pinkerton's in the blue, racing about two or three lengths off them. Then Poinciana. They are followed by Star Crusade and then comes Declaration of War. As they move towards the 600 meter marker, and now there's four of them in line. On the left is Seascape, the white sleeves and cap into the future. Fool's Gold is still there, and then comes Ron's Joy, and Pinkerton's also starting to get into the race, coming down with 300 metres to go. Into the future now, on the outside, Fool's Gold and Pinkerton, these are the three, Ron's Joy is towards the inside of that, but into the future is the leader coming to the last hundred from Fool's Gold. Into the future from Fool's Gold, Pinkerton goes in for a run, but into the future's running strongly and will win. Second will go to Fool's Gold, third to Pinkerton, and fourth point Sienna. Number four, Into the Future, is victorious. The first three were interviewed this uh, Robbie Hill, one, two for the Robbie and Shannon Hill, and also Pinkerton for Justin Snaith. So all three gave their advice today for this morning's show. And it is a victory from Fool's Gold. Pinkerton, a little bit restless. That was the toad favourite. Runs into third. And the fourth position will go to number 10, Point Siena. Number four pays up 730 and 190. And number three, Fool's Gold. That was shown 5, 10 and 190. Now three of them pulled away from the rest of the opposition. But Into the Futures only had one barrier trial. That was at Scottsville. And wins at the Visionaire, Robbie and Shannon Hill for Gerald Khalil, who also bred. Until the running of the third race, back to the studio. Well, a nice uh, result here for the stable of Robbie and Shannon Hill into the groove, uh, beating uh, number three, Fool's Gold. And I got to chat to Brandon on Friday night, and uh, it was really nice to see him in high spirits. He was uh, wondering why he's uh, not uh, seen more often in the race card. Well, I asked the question, Brandon, but nice to see you back here. And a uh, good win from this individual. Obviously, you know him from back home. Very nice win, Deez. Um, especially in the ground in this kind of trip, he's looking for a bit extra, so a phenomenal win. And thank you to Shannon Rob for the support. When you go into a race like this with the track condition, would you, you know what it is, and uh, you've got a horse that you know from back home, what's the plan? Well, as I said to Shannon uh, prior to the race, I mean, they either like it or they don't, so you just got to go in positive either way. And uh, we came out with the positivity, and that worked for us. At one stage, it looked like maybe three or four horses could be fighting out the finish, but at the depth, you were pulling away? Yeah, it is. You know, he seemed to be going well through the 800, and, and a whole group of horses moved alongside me quite early in the, in the race. So I was quite confident after that. That happened that he, he took the bridle quite nicely, and I got going on him a little bit early just because he's a big horse, and not because he's green by, by no means, but just because he's a big guy, and uh, he, he relished that. For some reason, I see you a lot in, in these colours. I mean, you've had success in these colours, haven't you? I have, and uh, I've got to be very grateful to, to Gerald and Karen. Um, being, it's almost like I'm retained by them now, so I'm very grateful to them, but, you know, all the accolades must go to Shen. Anything else from your side later on? Um, these have got a, s a small fill in the next race for, for Daryl Moore. Uh, I'm not too positive about the going, um, but she's got a neat race shot, and uh, if um, she's a dream. She's also got a chance with this kind of going and the blinkers on for the first time. And then Warfare in the fifth. Um, he likes this kind of going. Tough field, but he'll be, he'll be trying. Well, just keep the scrape trick going now, you know. You, you, you less chances, more winners. Yeah, absolutely. Please keep it light. Keep it full. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Let's get uh, Zane in first to give the, the check. Thanks, Zane, for coming down. Of course, if you're wondering what's this all about, it's the Bloodstock South Africa added incentive bonus. And uh, that will go to the guys. And Shannon, I'm going to hand this over to you. You're going to get it to the trainer, uh, the owner, the breeder, the groom, 
and uh, well done with that. Uh, firstly, uh, let, let's talk about the Bloodstock South Africa. You guys support that sale, and uh, nice to see these bonuses giving out as well. Yes, it is a nice incentive from them, and, and, and thanks to them. And we're off to the sales tonight um, that start on Wednesday. So, but well done to Gerald and Karen. You know, they've bred this horse and, and own it, obviously, as well. Very nice win. It's a bit short for him. Probably needs 18 plus. So a very good win. Thanks to Brandon and to Gareth. You know, they do a lot of work in the yard. And yeah, just well done to my dad and the whole team. This, uh, these colors, should I say, am I not mistaken? It's Fulfill Your Dream that won uh, that uh, one of the first million rand races here at uh, Scottsville? Yeah, she won it, uh, I think, two years ago in August, uh, also from, from that sale. Um, so yeah, these colors have been very lucky, and, and it's just lovely to train horses for them. It's a great result for you as well, because your second horse ran a good race. Yeah, look, um, second from him, uh, probably also just needed it. Um, so we're looking forward to the season with these horses. Well, I've spoken to Gareth on air the other day. I've chatted to you off air. I gave you a call. I sent your dad a text as well. Uh, beautiful that your dad went up there with the two horses, and he, and he hung in there, and he was rewarded. Yeah, look, it's not easy going up and training two horses, um, but well done to him. Um, and well done to all the owners of, of Camp Ferratis. It was a fantastic win. I think everybody's still on a bit of a high, but uh, lots to look forward to in the season. Talking about being on a high, I mean, your stable's on a high. You know, when we talk about just two months ago where the wind started coming in, things have just changed. Yeah, look, these, um, a lot of hard work from, from our team back at home. You can't do it on your own. And the wheels turned into line for us, and, and, and we'll enjoy it while it's there. I'm not surprised, Shannon. You got the grounding, and you're certainly delivering for your dad as well, Ian KZ. And before you leave us, anything else you can help us with? Uh, Dees, I've only got Kilmokia left in the, in the little feature in the six. She's got a nice galloping weight. I think she's going to be very competitive. She's thrown in the deep end there, Shannon. Yeah, look, she's in the deep end. Um, but you know, I think she, if she reproduces her, her, her run to Camp uh, I think she's a big runner. Talking about Camperatus, I remember you throwing in the deep end. Was it the flamboyant? The flamboyant, yeah. That's it. Well, it could be a uh, Kelmokia and the Scarlet Lady. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Shannon Alder, well done, yeah. Thanks, Dee. Give all best to your dad as well. And that added incentive bonus. Uh, let's not forget that uh, from Bloodstock South Africa. If you caught this quartet, well done, yeah. Four, three, nine, and ten. Up next, it's the big one, the bet that we all love to catch. It's the pick six. And uh, that will begin at 14.05, five past two.